Good day class. Today we are going to be looking at quoted and unquoted companies. Quoted and unquoted companies. We are going to be looking at quoted and unquoted companies. Now what is quoted company and what is an unquoted company? Quoted company Quoted companies are companies Quoted companies are companies whose shares whose shares are and list whose shares are quoted whose shares are quoted on the stock market stock market that is their shares their shares can be bought and sold on the stock market on the stock market on quoted company is different from quoted company now look at this we say quoted companies are companies who shares who shares are quoted who shares are quoted on the stock market that is their shares can be bought and sold on the stock market quoted companies are companies who shares can be sold and bought on the stock market because they are quoted they are listed on the on the stock exchange market why unquoted companies are companies whose shares are not listed on the stock market why why unquoted companies why unquoted companies are companies why unquoted companies are companies whose shares whose shares are not whose shares are not quoted on the stock market now on quoted companies are companies whose shares are not listed or quoted on the stock market which means that their shares cannot be bought and sold on the stock market now let's look at some of the characteristics of quoted company and unquoted companies now let's take the first one quoted company quoted companies we have let's look at what futures of quoted companies Futures of quoted companies. Before that, let's look at examples of quoted company. Examples of quoted company. We have First Bank, UBA, Senate Bank, Dangote PLC, and so on and so forth. So these are some of the examples of quoted companies that their share can be bought and sold on stock market. Now let's look at some of the characteristics of quoted company one they are quoted they are quoted on stock market they are quoted on stock market they are quoted on they are quoted on stock market two they they are shares they are shares their shares can be bought. Their share can be bought and sold on stock market. Their shares can be bought. Their shares can be bought and sold on the stock market. The first one, they are quoted on the stock market. Two, you can buy their shares. On the stock market and you can sell their shares on the stock market three they trade in large volumes they trade they trade in large volume they, tr they trade in large volume 
All the activities are in large volumes because they are large companies. Now let's look at these are some of the characteristics of unquoted uh, of what of quoted company. These are some of the characteristics of quoted companies. Now let's look at futures. Futures of unquoted company. Futures of unquoted companies. We have one. Now this are just like these are the opposite of what we have. The first, the first one is what they are not listed. They are not listed on the stock market. They are not listed on the stock market. They are not listed on the stock market. So if they are not listed on the stock market, it means their shares too cannot be bought and sold on the stock market. Two, so we have their shares. Their shares are not traded. Their shares are not traded on the stock market. Their shares are not traded on the stock market. You cannot buy their shares or sell their shares on the stock market. And third, we have they are like private companies. They are like private. They are like private companies. They are like what? A quoted company are like private company that are owned by individual for the purpose of making profit. Their shares are not bought and sold on the stock market because they are not listed there. And also, um, let's look at the last one, which is we can also say that we can also say okay, let's say that uh, the trade is the trade the trade in small volume. They trade in small volume. So if these are some of the characteristics of unquoted company. One, we say quoted companies, are, their shares are listed on the stock market. They can you can buy their shares on the stock market. You can sell their shares on the stock market. They trade in large volume. Why that of unquoted? Unquoted are not listed on the stock market. Since they are not listed on the stock market, their shares cannot be bought and sold on the stock market. So we say. They are like private companies and they trade in small volume when compared with that of quoted companies. Now let's look at source of capitals available to what? To companies. Sources of capital. Let's look at some of the sources of capitals available to companies. Sources of capital. Sources of capital. One, we have loan from bank. We have loan from bank. Two, so, we have first one. We have loan from bank. We have trade credit. We have trade credit. We have uh, factoring. We have loan from bank, trade credit, factoring. We have uh, issue of share. Issue of shares. Can, company can issue shares to obtain capital. Company can issue shares to obtain their capital. And we also have grants, ETC. So these are some of the sources of fund, sources of capital to companies. The first one is loan from bank. You can obtain loan from bank to to what to expand your business too. Trade credit. You can meet the suppliers of raw material. Agree with them that to start supplying you the raw material you need to produce what to produce your good on credit. After you sell, you now return back their money. That's what called trade credit. Buying on credit from the suppliers. We have factoring. Factoring simply means is a method of raising cash by selling off your debt. If 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 Miss uh, if James is owing me twenty thousand. I can go to factoring. I can embark on factoring and go to factor company. I will not sell my. There are some companies that buy debt. The company that is the, those people that are owing me, I will not go to factoring company. The factoring company will buy the debt from me. If the debt is twenty thousand, they can buy from me eighteen thousand. They'll give me eighteen thousand cash. So it is not left from the factoring company and those people that are owing me money to what to settle themselves. So the person, the company that is owing me, will now pay to the factoring company. 
no longer no i i'm not the one to receive it again because the factor company has pay up i've, I've bought with the debt and as such the factory company also make profit of two thousand because they are only twenty thousand, but they buy the debt for me eighteen thousand. Once they collect twenty thousand from those people that are with me, it belongs to them. That is what we call factoring. We also have issue of share and grant. Companies like quoted company can share their share on the stock market to raise money to expand their business. I come again. Quoted company can sell their share on the stock market to raise money to expand their businesses. Now, finally, before we call it a day, let's now look at meeting, types of meeting, and, the, and that is all for today. Um, uh, that is all for today. Now, let's look at meeting. Meeting. What is meeting? Meeting. Meeting simply means that the coming together of people to agree on certain matter. Meeting is a point where people come together to agree on a certain matter. And companies also, company also hold, hold meetings. Meeting is a point where people come together to agree on a particular thing or to make decision. There are three types of meeting in company account there are three types of company comp there are three types of meeting in company account we have types of meeting types of meeting we have statutory meeting we have statutory meeting we have two annual general meeting annual general meeting and three we have uh, we have statutory meeting, we have extraordinary meeting. Extra, extra what? We have extraordinary meeting. Extraordinary meeting. Meeting. Now, let's look at the first one statutory meeting. Statutory meeting is a general meeting of companies which must take place within six months. From the date of incorporation of such company. Statutory meeting is a general meeting that must take place within six months of incorporation of the business. That is, the statutory meeting must take place within six months when the company was set up. And this type of meeting only occur once. Statutory meeting only occur once in the lifetime of a company. Therefore, we can say that statutory meeting. I was a uh, meeting occurs in a newly established company because statutory meeting only takes place once in a company within six months when the company was set up. The second one is what annual general meeting. Annual general meeting is a meeting that, that takes place on a yearly basis and is required by law that every company must hold annual general meeting within 12 months every year they must hold annual general meeting why what is the purpose of this meeting one of the purpose of this meeting is that at annual general meeting dividend will be the uh, financial statement will be presented they will they account, they will bring the account of the company and present it to the owners of the business number two dividend payment they will declare pay, the dividend to be paid at the general meeting, they declare dividend. At the general meeting, they present financial statement. At the general meeting, they present director's report. And the general meeting, they present auditor's report. And not to the account. These are some of the things that takes place at annual general meeting. And they make decision on how to expand the business. Finally, we have extraordinary meeting. Extraordinary meeting... It's a type of meeting that takes place as a result of emergencies or special occasions. Extraordinary meetings, they are what? They are meetings that takes place because of what? Emergency. Because of what? Unforeseen situations or circumstances. They take place because of emergency. Like what is happening, like what is happening now in Nigeria, we have coronavirus or in the world. 
Companies before companies before government decided, company comes together to look for a way to be carrying out their business. They agree. They just call each other, call all the members of the company, they come together and agree on how, how to be carrying on their business. See, there's coronavirus, social distance. So company has to come together, hold an emergency meeting to decide on such issue. So assignment that I'll be giving to you is your assignment is. Uh, assignment we are going to discuss discuss we are going to what discuss the organs of companies discuss the organ discuss the organs of discuss the organs of company discuss the organs of companies discuss the organs of companies so this is your assignment your assignment is what discuss the organ of companies organs of companies such as director we are going to tell me who are the board of directors who are the shareholders these are the two organs of company we are the board of directors and the shareholder they are the organs of the company so you write at least a page on each one write one page on board of directors write one page on shareholder thank you very much and i love you all but remember Quoted company are those companies whose shares are listed on the stock market. Their share can be bought and sold. Why on quoted company their share cannot be bought and sold because they are not listed on the stock market. And also source of capital you can obtain no from bank, trade credit, you can go for factory, issue of shares, grant from government or for financial other financial institution. And we say company we say a meeting is a point where people come together to make decision. And there are three types of meeting in the company law we have statutory meeting which take place once in once the company is set up within six months and it only occur once in the lifetime of the company we have annual general meeting it's a meeting that takes place on a yearly basis at that meeting they will declare dividend that can will be presented that all the report will bring this report also will bring this report and present to the owners of the business and if the third one is extraordinary meeting Extraordinary meeting is a type of meeting that takes place as a result of emergencies that take place due to emergencies, due to exigencies in the economy. By this, we draw the final curtain for today's lesson. I love you all. Stay at home and be safe. God bless you. Miss you all. Chatter accountant.